it's always been this balance and this in a way it's a balance but it's also a fight between resolution and height and what we've done with this data set and with the new ultra unit is you're not sacrificing either of those For over five years, we at Rock Robotic have worked with thousands of surveyors on some of the largest, most challenging jobs in the world. We've never been gatekeepers. Our mission has always been to provide real solutions to real problems. Our experience isn't just with equipment, it's with over millions of acres of data processed and thousands of successful projects. We are the trusted resource, the number one LiDAR equipment and software team dedicated to solving big problems for big jobs. Problems like balancing resolution and flight height, which is a constant challenge. With the Rock Ultra, you no longer have to choose. Getting detailed, accurate data from higher altitudes is now possible. We're able to get, you know, sharpness. We're able to get detail. We're able to get accuracy from data that's, you know, higher than I've ever seen before. What stood out to me most was how well colorized everything is and just how sharp everything came in. The Rock Ultra's advanced sensor capabilities allow for unprecedented clarity even through dense vegetation, capturing intricate details other systems miss. We're able to get continuous power line wires. We're able to get the wire structures. I was really impressed with that. I found it to be particularly fascinating that we're able to get this and we're also able to do it with you know a lot of depth and clarity basically the big things is with the seven returns you can really get in there and you know even at these heights we're getting creek beds my jaw dropped the first time i saw stuff from the ultra just being able to see curves and see features that are you know inches tall on data that was flown at hundreds of feet i you know it, i was like it, it to me it was like really exciting. Thanks to longer flight times and higher altitudes, the Rock Ultra lets you cover hundreds of acres in a fraction of the time and with no need for multiple passes. The other case that we did for our test flights, it was 120 meters. We can put the drone up that high, not have any concerns about clearing the utility lines when we fly across the path, but also knowing that the end result is going to get us the data that we want. And in this case, you know, the added bonus was it's all that's needed is a single pass. You know, you're saving roughly 80% of the time. And again, that's just the flight time. You're not having to deal with any sort of hot swaps. Not only does the Rock Ultra save time, but it also allows you to fly higher, improving safety and simplifying operations. This powerful system gives you the confidence to tackle complex terrain and tall structures with ease. When it comes down to it, if your end goal with a drone LiDAR survey is focused on a high quality point cloud of survey grade accuracy. The age old approach was always fly it low and slow. And that's gonna be great for uh, flat areas, areas without kind of obstacles. But then when we think of challenging terrain or challenging projects like those larger utility lines, you need to fly higher for safety purposes. And now with this setup, we know that if we're taking off away from this utility line, going up to 120 meters and then flying over it, we don't have that concern. It's a lot easier as well to maintain line of sight with the drone out in the field when it's at that kind of an altitude, as opposed to a lower altitude where there may be topography around it. So that safety benefit of just having great line of sight, having a lot more ease and comfort knowing that obstructions or any type of other concern has been reduced significantly makes the entire flying process a lot easier. The Ultra's battery and flight efficiency mean you get more done in less time without the usual field headaches and mid-mission swaps. So you're not having to do that mental math of, okay, it's you know, where is it flying to? How much battery is going to be wasted or how much battery is going to have to be used on the return flight back? Is it into the wind? Do we have the wind at our back? So on and so forth. It's just, nope, it's a single flight. 
I'm not even going to, you know, I have to monitor the battery, but I'm not worried about a hot swap. I know I can get it done with this battery, which is, you know, really fantastic. The altitude, I will say there was a, a bit of an adjustment uh, having to crane my neck nearly vertical <laughs> to, to see the, the drone and the LiDAR unit get uh, up to that 120 meter altitude that we were flying at. But again, that uh, was great for line of sight in these larger areas when it was further away from us. Uh, so that was fantastic. When everything comes together, you know it's worth it. A hundred acres in four minutes is, I mean, and you're not missing anything. I, I mean, shut up and take my money. <laughs>